LeBron James isn't happy with Phil Jackson, and LeBron James is right. Here are the quotes from Phil that infuriated LeBron. Phil was asked by Jackie McMullen of ESPN how Pat Riley must have felt when LeBron left Miami. Jackson said, it had to hurt when they lost LeBron. That was definitely a slap in the face. But there were a lot of things, a lot of little things that came out of that. When LeBron was playing with the Heat, they went to Cleveland, he wanted to spend the night. They don't do overnights. Teams just don't. So now, Coach Eric Spolstra has to text Riley and say, what do I do in this situation? And Pat, who has Iron Fist rules, answers, you're on the plane, you're with this team, you can't hold up the whole team because you and your mom and your posse want to spend an extra night in Cleveland. LeBron, in my opinion, should be angry. I completely side with LeBron James, and I get what he's saying. And Maverick Carter isn't someone who hangs on. He's a businessman. Now, let me be crystal clear here. I don't think Phil Jackson is a racist, even though the word posse has racial overtones. I think Phil Jackson is moronic. I think there is no reason for Phil Jackson to talk about anything other than Knicks basketball. It doesn't benefit him or the Knicks. And I think that there's a lot of things at play here. I think that Phil is jealous of Pat Riley, who morphed from a legendary coach into an iconic executive. Phil Jackson, of course, one of the best coaches ever. He is a failed executive. So the press rightly asked Phil's star player and LeBron's close friend, Carmelo Anthony, about the comments. And Melo rightly sided with LeBron. Carmelo Anthony said, I wouldn't want to hear that word about me and I don't want to say my crew, but people I consider family, people I have come up with, been through thick and thin with. I would want them to be called a tightly knit group or family. Phil Jackson needs to stop talking, unless it's about the length of Joe Kim Noah's contract or why he won't let Jeff Hornacek run whatever offense he wants or why he forced Jeff Hornacek to keep Kurt Rambis. And let's remember, Phil Jackson was brought in to attract the big fish. Now, he's alienated LeBron James. Who, by the way, is close with everybody in the NBA, starting with, you know, Chris Paul and others around the league. I was so against the Knicks hiring Phil Jackson. This job was a money grab. He's been terrible. And now, totally clueless. It's going to be a great day for the Knicks when Phil Jackson decides to quit and go back to Los Angeles, hopefully sooner rather than later.